I'm surrounded by books and I don't know what's happening because there are too many books. Ow, that really hurt. Okay. So, let's get into this. So today I'm going to be doing an October book haul because I got way too many books in the month of October. Like, I'm surrounded by books right now and I don't know how to feel. Like, I thought my life was in control, but looking around here, I see that my life is not in control. I am not a responsible adult. I'm an adult that owns too many books. That's what type of an adult I am. So let's get into all the books that I'm drowning in in the month of October. Woo! -hoo. So first off, I was hanging out with my friend and she had this whole box of books that she was just going to get rid of. And so do you know what a friend does? A loving, caring friend that doesn't want her friend to lug this many books to an op shop. She says, let me take some of them for you. And that I did. Oh, that I did. So honestly, I have no idea what many of these books are about, so I'm just going to really show them to you. But if you know what any of these books are about, or if you know which ones I should read first, let me know. But the first one we have here is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell uh, by Susan Clark. I liked the cover. Then we have J.R. Ward's Dark Lover. Now, apparently my friend loves this series. She went on and on about it, and she's actually got me really excited for it. The only reason she was getting rid of this book is because I believe that she's got the book again already in another edition or something something like that so I was like yeah I'll take it especially the way she made it sound she made it sound really interesting so I'm super excited to read it then I have Rochelle Mead's Game World of the Gods and yes if you know me well enough you know that I do have this book already but it's in hardcover big format and this is in small paperback format and like I was like yeah I want it you know I'm not gonna pass it down you know I can have two copies of Game World of the Gods I actually really need to get the sequel though still haven't got the sequel what the fuck Becca what are you doing for your life? Then she had Beastly by Alex Finn. Now I believe this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I know that it was a film but because it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling I believe I thought it would be really interesting. Beauty and the Beast is one of my favourite movies. So I was like yeah I want to read it. I mean if it's shit it's shit. Got it for free. Who cares? Also did you see how I caught that book up? That was amazing. Let's do it again. Look at this. Look at this PE teachers. You see I'm not caught. Oh shit. Never mind PE teachers. Never mind. Next we have Altered by Jennifer Rush. They were made to forget, but they'll never forgive. No idea what this book is about. Looks kind of alienly. I don't know. It looks interesting though. I'm excited to read it. Then we have A Tale of Two Cities, an underbelly book, and I really like true crime. If you know that about me, well, cool. If you don't, well, now you know. In my spare time, I like to read about serial killers. That's not as weird as it sounds, I promise. Anyway, I'm excited to read this. I've actually never read an underbelly book before, so it will be interesting. Somebody once told me the world was kinda ugly. Next, I have another true crime book, and this is Robert Williams' My Life Updated, the untold story of an underworld survivor. Sounds interesting. Again, like true crime, so I was like, um, yes please. Also, side note, I got this Princess Celestia dress and I'm all about it like it's like a, like a little sun there you probably can't tell I don't know if I'm flashing you right now I don't think I am but it's really nice and I like it also shameless plug again in case you didn't watch my previous video go watch my previous video first off if you haven't but second of all go follow my Instagram Becca the book reviewer and my snapchat Sailor Moon Swag I'll leave them a link down below go follow me because I am being on social media very well I'm totally hip with the youngins. Also my Twitter, yo. Why do I keep saying yo? Why do I keep shamelessly self-plugging my social media? Like it's any good. Though my Instagram post yesterday did get a lot of likes. Like I have like 50 followers on Instagram because I only just started Instagram like a week ago. But my post that I posted last night got like 70 likes and I was like... Mm. Maybe I should become a photographer and quit my day job. Not really though. The next book I picked up from her was Natural Born Angel, an immortal city novel by Scott Spear. This looks like an angel book, but it looked interesting and I'm all about it. Like, I want to read some books that feature angels. I don't know, the experience I've had with angels hasn't been the greatest, so maybe this will change my mind. I don't know. Then there was Hidden, Three Hearts, Two Worlds, One Secret by Marina Curley. No idea what it's about. Honestly, I picked it up because of the cover. Look, it's a pretty cover. Be nice for books to grow. Then I picked up Skin Hunger by Kathleen Dooley. It looked interesting. I liked the cover, so I got it. Like, these books were all free. Am I gonna pass them out? No. Then I got The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. I believe Jennifer E. Smith is the author of that Alien series. Oh wait, maybe that's another author. I don't know, either way, it looked cute and interesting, so I thought, why not? And the last book that I got from her was When You Were Mine 
by Rebecca Cyril. Looks like a nice contemporary book and I really like contemporary so I was like yes please. Oops apparently that's not all the books I got from her. I also got these two books, Broken. It looks like the sequel or first book. I don't know. I don't know which book comes first but it looks like it belongs with that hidden book that I showed earlier and also Rules of Attraction. This is a movie apparently but again it looks like a contemporary book so I'm like yeah I'll read it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. That is all the books that I got from her. I promise. Then some publishers sent me some books. So the first book I got was Stealing Snow by Danielle Page. This is I believe a Frozen retelling. I was really excited to read it but now I've heard really mixed reviews from it but I don't know. I'm still excited to read it and come up with my own opinion on it. So yeah. I think I was sent this book by Bloomsbury. Ugh, no I can't remember. I'll figure it out when I do my review who I was sent this by. But thank you so much publisher. Then I was sent We Were On A Break by Harper Collins. I really like Lindsay Kellick's writing and so when I had the opportunity to get this book I was like yes please. Expect a review out of this shortly. Well shortly in the fact that when I finally get around to reading it and then filming a review and then editing it and uploading it which is really hard when you have a full-time job. But soon. Hopefully. Then another book that I was sent from HarperCollins, but this time I didn't request it, is An Almond for a Parrot by Ray Dangley. I have no idea what this book is about. No idea. It just came to me in the mail one day and I was like, oh, okay, cool. If any of you know what it's about, or if you've read anything by this author, please let me know. Then I did a gift swap with my friend Jen over at Gentle Strength. Go watch that video if you haven't already. It was a lot of fun. But she also gifted me a manga book in that gift swap, which was Witchbusters by Jung Mengcho. I can't say names and I hate it so bad that I can't pronounce names. I'm so sorry. But this looks really interesting. I plan to read it really, really soon, hopefully this month. So I'm super excited because it's been a while since I've read a manga, so I'm excited for this one. And then my friend Alex over at a zombie booktuber gifted me a book, which she always does. She's a horrible friend because she does this to me <laughs> because I feel bad, but she does it anyway and I love her for it. But she gifted me the Throne of Glass coloring book. Guys, I'm so excited. I haven't colored anything in it yet because I want to get really nice coloring pencils for it so it looks really good but as soon as I do that I will be coloring this because I'm super excited about it. She also gifted me because her work was getting rid of it. A Court of Thorns and Roses in hardcover and I was like Alex you are my bae. Literally my bae because I've wanted this book in hardcover ever since The Want for A Court of Mist and Fury came in hardcover. That was my favorite book of the year and the series is therefore now one of my favorite series so I need this version in paperback and hardcover and any other edition that they may have of it because literally this series is the bomb. Back you go there bae. Look how good they look though. Beautiful. And then Book Depository was having a sale. And I'm a whore for Book Depository when they're having a sale. Everyone knows that. So of course I had to purchase a few things. The first thing I found was like the best deal ever. It was A Trinity of Petticoat, edited by Jessica Spotswood. It's got 15 stories of Bells, Bank Robbers and other badass girls with some authors like Marie Lou, Marissa Meyer, Beth Brevis, Lindsay Smith, Elizabeth Wang, Jessica Spotswood, just to name a few. Did I mention that this book is hardcover? Did I mention that I got it for seven dollars? What the heck book depository? What the heck? So of course I was like holy shit yes please. So I got this one. Also as a side note I have a book depository affiliate down below where if you purchase any books through that link you help me out. I get a small commission about five percent of what you purchase. It doesn't cost you any extra but it helps me out. So if you like my videos which I don't know why you would but just in case you do and if you're gonna buy something at book depository which I would recommend I really really like them then purchase through my link. After that, I picked up from Book Depository Everything Everything by Nicole Yuna. I don't know much about this book, but I've heard really good things about it. I know it's a contemporary and I've wanted to pick it up for so long, even though I know nothing about it just because I've heard so many good things. So I was like, fine, let me pick this up and I'm super excited to see what I think of it. The last book I got on the Book Depository sale was Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I think this book was like $10. I've heard so many things about this book and the author, am I right? So I was like, sure. I'm excited to read it. I'm really, really excited actually and it took all my will not to purchase other books because I had the other two books in the series on special dinner because I'm poor but I was tempted. Finally the last book that I purchased and the most expensive coming at $23 for a paperback. Thank you so much Australia. What the heck was Gemini? Oh no my bookmarks fell out. I went to the Gemini book launch this month for this book 
obviously. And I got it signed. It says for Rebecca, take your shot. And Amy Kaufman's signature and Jay Kristoff's signature. This is a sequel to Illuminate in case you do not know. And I'm super excited to read this. The only thing is I haven't read it yet. I know that it'll be a really quick read and I'm super excited. I just, I haven't been reading much lately. So when I feel like I'm in a really reading mood, I'll read this one because I kind of want to read it in a couple of sittings, maybe if not one, because I feel like that's the best way to read these books. Now comes the trouble of stacking all these books and trying to pick them up. I honestly don't think I'll be able to do it, but we gotta try. There's no way I'm getting all these books in frame. I've started stacking them from the ground and soon you're gonna be able to see them because that's how big this stack is. Look, you can start to see them now. Oh my gosh, holy shit. I think this is a lot of books, too many books. How the heck am I meant to pick where these are? This was not a good life decision. Who invented picking up books in a book haul? Oh, that's not gonna work. I have no idea how to do this. Like this is the first time I've become genuinely lost and confused with how to do this. Maybe if I just like pick, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Becca, this is not gonna work. Oh, oh joking my books. Okay, okay. Plan two, maybe I'll divide the thing. Look at this. Oh, we just should stack them on the knee, Becca. You idiot. Oh, they're still they're gonna go out of frame. You can't even see them all. Oh my god. These are all the books that I got in the month of October. Life choices, am I right? <laughs> oh. What's reading? What's books? What's bookshelf space? I don't know. I really, really don't know at this point. So, like this video if you liked it. Let me know in the comments below what book I should read next out of this massive pile. Um, please note four books as I'm talking about you. Subscribe if you'd like to see more book related videos from me and I will see you next time. Okay, bye. Okay, now I'll just, <gasps> shit. Oh God, crap, what book are you? Okay, just, can we? Mm. Fuck, does lesson books fall? My life's a mess and so are these books because there's books all over my floor. I wonder if I'm gonna get like serious book bruises. Probably can't tell but my arm is like red.